Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Kowalski. It is the home opener tonight, and the fans are jacked up. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Ducks take possession to get this one underway. Poked away at center ice. Anaheim's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to McTavish. Cuts into the paint. The signs to think about it. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Justin. What a steal in his own end. And somehow he hangs on. The Ducks take it along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Keller. Works it across to Justin. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. With the stop. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. James, he already has an assist, but every rookie wants to get their first NHL goal. Arizona's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Drysdale. Cut grab by Fowler. Quick pass to Carlson. And he makes the save. That's a great save as he drops into the butterfly. You want to make sure that you take away the top of the net, but you know you got the lower net covered. And the agility to be able to move across the crease is an example right there. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Lundstrom. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Poked away in the neutral zone. Anaheim's got it along the wall. Arizona's regained possession of the puck. Grabs control down the point. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but look at that hit and it just took me off guard. Now a quick pass to Fowler. From the right side and up the middle. Intercepted the pass. Takes it to the front. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Penalty coming up here. Who's been nabbed for tripping? will take to the ice for the first time tonight. For the score of this game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Slides it to Keller. Puck scooped up by Kalor. Can't keep a hold of it. Slides it over with pace to Justin. Cuts to the front. Comes up with the stop. That's moved up ahead. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck in their own end. And loses possession after a solid hit. Moves it quickly over to Schmaltz. Oh, tremendous stop on the play! The Ducks gain control of the puck. Arizona's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. The Ducks will kill off a few extra seconds now. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. The Coyotes scoop it up along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. A shot, big time stop. Gibson's been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. And he takes a shot. Oh, and that just skips home into that. What a chance there, Pounder. Well, he was in tight, but he was all the way on the play. Whoa! A true competitor saved just when you think that he's completely out of it, James. He comes across with a desperation. Stop! And look at that man. Hang on a second here. I do not think this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, 
Well, clearly not happy with the ref's decision, but they'll have to play on with this faceoff. Anaheim's won the faceoff at center. Knocks the puck down with a stick. And that's blocked from someone in front. Girls almost ready to get back on the ice. Anaheim's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Gets it out of his own end. The Ducks are back to even strength here. Well, the PK does a great job, and when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Moves inside. The hell? Scores! Oh, wow. My goodness, what a finish. From that puck's on his stick, James, you know that he's a magician, and he can deke his way to the net like he does just there. He's got those incredible puck handling skills, in particular when he's in tight spaces. He just knows how to move his opponent out of position. And he does it there, and he finds the back of the net. Anaheim's finally opened the scoring here in the first. Now let's see how both teams respond, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and I think this is a product of just playing the game differently and having a different mindset. They started the game, they were hesitant, almost as if you're playing just to keep it close and not to lose. You've got to play to win the game, and they've really opened it up in the latter of this period. Here's a shot! Denies him with a fantastic stop there. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Drives to the sweet spot. And he's got that one. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. The Coyotes have had an overhaul of their leadership team in the front office over the offseason, and this is a group that will be looking to make some adjustments with the personnel and go in a different direction. Moves it to Silverberg. Moves the puck into the D zone. And now he angles it across to McGinn. Great reach with the poke check by Boyd. The Coyotes cross the blue line and are on the attack. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task to throw this off. Miller's team is trailing, and they're looking at him to use his zone ability to generate some offense, guys. And a successful clearing attempt. Picked up along the board by Henrique. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Penalty coming up as the ref did not like that. Here comes the call. Well, with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they gotta find a way to kill it off. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Pokes it away in his own end. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Anaheim's got it in the neutral zone. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. 
There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, it's tough timing to take a penalty at the end of a period. You want to make sure that you can reset and regroup, but first things first, you got to kill the penalty. You know what the key to the power play is, James? Shoot the puck, and that's exactly what they did. Last power play, and they were successful on it right from the point. You have to have net front presence, though. you got to make sure you can get players in front of the net, not just for the screen, but to collect the rebound. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. And the puck skips away after that move. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Arizona's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Makes a move in front. Easily kicked away by the goalie. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, there's a great stop by Gibson. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Henrik's penalty has expired, and he'll join the penalty kill as they remain shorthanded. 42 seconds to go. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there, and just crushes him. What a hit. Here's the chance in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. And they managed to clear it. Puck picked up by Miller. To the front! positioning and gets square to the puck, keeping his arms tight to his body. Man, it is tough to find the back of the net. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Terry. Takes a shot. Fantastic save. Hammers a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. Here's a short pass to Terry. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. And he's right there with the blocker to keep it out. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. The D picks it up, but they are still under pressure. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Big time hit against the wall there. Wow, that was a tough one, man. That was thunderous, and it even broke a pane of glass. There's going to be a stoppage in play here. Nick Baines ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Anaheim's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Feeds the puck up to Valimaki. Delayed penalty looming. Whistle blown, stopping the play. 
And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. They'll play some four-on-four. Four. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. And they send it right back to him. Into the attacking end. The Coyotes will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Justin's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. And off the draw, they take the puck. Arizona's looking to break out of their own end. Moves the puck down low. Tries to feed it over to Fowler. And he coughs it up with the pass. Nothing. Anaheim's got the puck. Picked off by Henrique. Tries to clear the puck. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Puck battle along the boards. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Pass back to the point. And that's broken up. And that's knocked away by Fowler. And they send it down the ice. Quick pass to Justin. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Can't keep a hold of it. And now he tries to get it across to Keller. Drives to the paint. And he opts to wait for more support. Killorn's almost out of the box. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Lundstrom. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. You know how you change an average PK? You kill the next one. And they did a good job there of getting in shot lanes and getting it 200 feet down the ice. Great pressure on the offensive end by Schmaltz. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Arizona's gain possession along the boards. From point blank range. Made the stop on the play. Here he is. Shot on the side. There's another stop. I'm not sure where... A chance in the rush here. They gain the zone. And he can't get the shot off as he ran out of real estate there. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, looked like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. Inside the offensive end now, down the left. Quick feed to Dursey. The Coyotes have the puck in the corner. Fires one on goal. Oh, what a stop on the play. The Ducks play it along the boards. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Denies him again. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Exceptional goaltending. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. Scores all over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. Slides the puck ahead to Brule. Moves it quickly over to Hayden. Broken up by McGinn. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. And some textbook body contact there. Arizona's got control of it now here in the offensive end. The Coyotes gain possession. Takes the feet at the back end. Moves it to McGinn. The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Well past the midway mark of this period, we got a tie game. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that goes off a player in front. Fires 
turns it into the offensive zone. Jersey's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Justin. Back at the point. James, and they put themselves in a good position here as they get the equalizer nearing the end of the second. They'll have a lot to talk about in the intermission heading into the third. Picked off! And now he moves it to McTavish. The Coyotes gain control of the puck. Feeds the puck across to Justin. Arizona's moving it along the wing. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Keller. Here's a chance. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Gibson. There's a collision with some authority. Through center along the wing. Quick pass to Vetrano. Bringing the physicality tonight. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Play is called for offside. for this period, and it's all tied up. Arizona's going to start with the puck in their own end. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Oh, he'll feel that one. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Oh, buckle up, they're dropping the mitts. Well, the jury is out as to whether it was clean or not, but his team didn't like it, and they're responding right now by dropping the gloves. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. Not difficult to see who won that fight. The W goes the road team all the way. And after that tilt, looks like cooler heads have finally prevailed and we're ready to drop the puck once again. The Ducks win the draw. Fowler stick handling in his own zone. And a good solid hit on that play. There's the horn. Two periods down. A third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. It's been a throwback to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. Driving right to the front. He was totally locked in on that play. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Scooped up along the wall by Keller. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Ducks have it now. And they continue to apply pressure here. They gain the zone from the left side. Play rolls on. Oh, what a save in front. Well, 
he's showing great mobility here as he drops into the butterfly and moves across his crease with ease to make the save. Scores! And there it is, number one of the season. That's a great way to alleviate pressure and expectations early, James. You get on the board, and guess what? You hope that the floodgates really open. Anaheim's been locked up in a dogfight all evening long, but look at this. They pushed through and found that go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, I think they continue the scrappy dogfight. Don't get in the mindset to sit back. If you sit back and you allow entry into your zone, guess what? You're playing defense. Get on the hunt. Get on the prowl. Stay on the puck, and you'll win this game. Here's a backhand. Denies him in close. Can't get it to go. And that's off the iron. Slides the pass over to Kalorn. Along the half wall with the puck. Let's move to the middle. He scores! What a goal! Cheryl, you coach a lot of young hockey players as a coach. What goes through your mind seeing a young player like that get his first goal? Well, you can see how excited the entire bench, including the coaches, for him, James, because you know the hard work and the sacrifice it is to get to this level, and then you get that first. And here we go. And there's the winning blow. Did he ever connect on that one, James? And now look at him on the ice. He's laboring to get up. After a fight, the heart rate is elevated. You're sweating. You're exhausted. And now it's time to cool off, Simmer. Reset your emotions so you can get back out there and play after you sit your five. Well, with all that said and done with, we still got a game to play and face off here set to resume action. Arizona's got it along the wall. Anaheim's grabbed a hold of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. And now he moves it quickly to Labushkin. Good check, frees the puck up. Levels him with the hit. The Coyotes take it along the wall. The Ducks take over on possession. Skates to the crease! How did he stop that one? Petrano's back on the ice after serving the five-minute major for fighting, and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box. As sometimes fighting can take a lot out of you. He steps on the ice and gets a great scoring chance. His time is better served on the ice. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Still keeps a hold of it. And a has got the puck against the half wall. And he turns that one aside. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. A chance in front! Nice save from point blank range. Quick feed to Justin. Back to the blue line. Denied by the goaltender. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. won the defensive zone draw. The Ducks will kill off a few extra seconds now. He grabs the puck here at the point. From the neutral zone now. And that's off a stick. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Takes the feed at the point. Oh my goodness, it's stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James and that Puck, that was on display. Puck slid down the ice. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Takes the pass. Great save. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Picked up along the wall by McGinn. And that one stopped. And he takes the dish. Moves the puck. Takes the puck. From the point, they take control of it. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. 
really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Can't hang on to the puck after taking an arm. Fires away! Stops him cold! After that neutral zone faceoff. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Henrique. Slides the puck across to Strom. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. He got all of that one. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one-goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. The BK unit's going to have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. That is a lonely cage at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this face-off. The Coyotes win the face-off. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Nice play, short handed as they get control of the puck. Taken here by Michelli. They are swarming around like bees here in the O zone. Desperately trying to get it out of their own end. Pressure on this shift, really dictating pace. They're like a wave of momentum, and they're tough to contain. Takes the puck. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. Gets it right back. Carrying it here in the offensive end. Oh, they have really got the cycle of both here, here. Here's a blast. Great save in front by the goaltender. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Big opportunity here on the power play with this offensive zone takes off. Not a lot of ice available to get the goaltenders extremely fatigued. Get a moving east-west. Taken by Leobushkin. Trying to clear the zone. And they get the puck out. That's exactly what they needed. Yeah, late in the game, you want to find a way to just get the puck out. You want to make sure you protect the middle of the ice. And listen, if your opponent doesn't have the puck in their offensive zone, guess what? You're in a good position. Slides it across to who? Puck clears the zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Moves it to Schmaltz. Here's a chance in front. And that goes off a stick and off target. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. 
McTavish is recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Justin's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Coyotes will start off on the attack after winning the draw. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Here he is. Here they come, three of them! Driving to the net! 